Hey there everybody, this is Adam, the Facts Dude 79 on YouTube, and just wanted to post this video tutorial. Um, before I start, want to say a few things. Hold on. This is my fifth time recording this tutorial, so if I rush to do some, some things without realizing it, I apologize for that. Um, so let's uh, get started. What we're going to be doing is uh, masking or pixelating or what it whatever you want to call it, a face out in, using only the built-in tools of Vegas Movie Studio and uh, Vegas, Sony Vegas. So, let's get started. Uh, what I have here is a clip uh, from our recent movie, One Shot 2. And uh, if you'd like to watch the whole movie, please go to youtube.com slash effects 79 It's a short film we created. And, yeah. So, it's pretty short, but, you know, short and sweet. So, what you're going to want to do is hit the event effect. And, oh, first, sorry. First, you're going to want to duplicate this uh, clip. So, hit right, or left, or right, yeah, right, right click, and hit copy. Then go up here to a higher track. If you don't have one, you can take a video track and you can move it up to the top. Uh, I'm going to move that back down. Or you can just paste it and it should create one itself. So hit paste. And we have two video claps tracks that are exactly the same. So let's lower the level or the opacity of the first one. And on the second one, hit the effects button and choose Sony Pixelate. Then bump these both up pretty much a lot uh, until the face is how you want it and now you notice that the other the surroundings um, are also pixelated and to fix that I'll show you how to fix that I recommend if you're gonna do this a lot in movies if see this preset bar what you're gonna wanna do is type in like pixelate or something like that like fate pixelate face or something I already have one right here that's pre blurred out um, and I saved it and you can do that by just typing the preset in here and hitting save so I'll show you pixelate face and hit save and there it is right there and it's pre blurred out and everything so that's a good idea if you're going to be doing this a lot okay we're done with that layer let's hit X to close and bring back up the level of the opacity of the first one so it's back to normal because this clip is normal but this clip is not so bring the level back up and on the top one let's hit X and choose cookie cutter hit OK and what you're going to want to do is change shape from circle to oval on its side or oval side and method from cut away all but section to cut away section and now it is back now it is back to its blurred state but if we take the size and drag it down you can sort of see where I'm getting at here if we move this around you notice that it will blur out anything that's in its way and we did that because it's just cutting out that part of the top lower layer and showing that part of the bottom layer and since they're both the same it just blurs it out so obviously this is a video and it won't be, you know, sticking on their face or anything. That'd be ridiculously impossible. Um, but as you go through, you can just lower the size and it will create a keyframe for you. And you can animate this little pixelated thing throughout the video, just creating a bunch of keyframes and moving it, which is really, really, really easy to do. Uh, Right now, I'll show you what the final product will look like. Where am I? Where do you work for? Uh, uh, I don't work for anybody, man. I swear. Oh. Oh. What? Do it. Because I have to stop you. Wrong answer! Thanks for following this tutorial. I hope you had a good time and learned something today. Uh, if you would like to see some other Sony Vegas movie studio tutorials or Sony Vegas tutorials, I'm going to be creating some new ones, so check out my channel, which is youtube.com slash effects279. 
and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys. Bye.